first of all, let's review the numbers for today. Uh, last week, uh, we had 119 positive cases. This week, we're up 50 to 169 positive cases. Last week, we had 23 cases that were active. This week, we're up 26 to 49 cases. Uh, last week, we had 93 cases that had recovered. Now we're up to 116 cases. That's an increase of 23 cases that have recovered. Uh, last week, we had no uh, COVID cases in our hospitals, and this week we have one. Uh, unfortunately, last week we had one more death, so we were up one death uh, from three to four. Uh, the tests have increased quite a bit. Um, this uh, week we have uh, 6,177 cases that were tested, and that's 1,289 more than last week. If you look at our percentage of cases per the test, uh, last, about a month ago we were at about 3.4%. Last week we were at 2.4%, and this week we're at 1.8%. So it's going in the right direction, even though we've had some higher numbers this last week. Uh, this last week, there was an outbreak of 20 positive cases associated with a church in Sheboygan County. And the other cases were associated with contact with known cases and just community spread. The Sheboygan uh, County Health officials released the uh, Sheboygan County Safe Restart recommendations to, to plan to open up with strong controls for businesses and residents. We are now in phase two of the plan, and it says that if business is open, they need to follow the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's best practices and sanctions uh, specific to their sector. Uh, in phase two, which we are now, businesses that choose to open must do so using the guidelines from the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation and any sector-specific recommendations that apply to their work that's being done. Limit capacity to non-essential business bars and restaurants. It's up to 50% of capacity now. And events held outdoors should allow for people to maintain six feet of physical distance from others. Encourage curbside pickup to reduce in-store traffic and long lines. And always wear a cloth mask for staff. City Hall is now open to the public. The main library is open to the public with limited hours, Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 2. But the third floor meeting rooms and meeting rooms are still closed. Municipal Court is conducting virtual hearings. And our city parks have remained open. All city playgrounds will be open tomorrow. Residents can use at their own risk. The city is not able to sanitize the play equipment. We encourage residents to bring their own hand sanitizer to sanitize the hands of children after using that play equipment. City parks and building shelters, or city rather, uh, park buildings and shelters will remain closed. The following restaurant rooms are available for public use as the phased reopening of, uh, of city facilities continues. Deland Community Center, the outside restrooms only, Deland Beach House, Richardson Shelter, Rotary Riverview Park, Evergreen Park, areas one and four, South Pier Turnaround, South Pier Fish Cleaning Station, Deland Park Fish Cleaning Station, Walrath Park, Kiwanis Field House, and King Park. The facilities that are available for the public to use as part of the phased reopening are the Deland Park Tennis Courts, Moose Park Tennis Courts, Veterans Park Tennis Courts, the Volrath Park Tennis Courts and Pickleball Courts will be open this Wednesday. The Kiwanis Skate Park, Kiwanis Kayak Launch, although it's a little wet going in, all basketball courts, all trails and all beaches. The Senior Activity Center will remain closed. And starting uh, today, Shoreline Metro resumed weekday service uh, late in the day from 5.45 to 8.45 p.m and will maintain capacity at 15 riders on each bus. And they currently have one hour service and complimentary fares uh, for riders.